Hi, I'm Liz Halliday Sharp, and I'm a professional event rider based here in Lexington, Kentucky. I'm Dr. Laura Warner from Haggerty Prime Medical Institute. Having a great relationship with your vet is so important to our equine athletes. It's a total team approach to get these horses to the top level that they need to be perform at all times. We've used polyglycan in Liz's program leading up to some of these important competitions the past year and a half. We like to be proactive in the approach to taking care of these athletes. So polyglycan has provided a great support for their joints as they're working and training hard. We used polyglycan for the first time last year and um, I feel like the results speak for themselves. I was the USEA Rider of the Year for 2020 with the most FEI wins in the world and I, I think I can only thank polyglycan for, for some of that help because my horses had never felt better. This device is restricted to use by or on the order of a licensed veterinarian. She's one of the fiercest competitors of this era. And Liz Halliday Sharp, with more FEI wins than any other rider in the world the last few years, is a force to be reckoned with. But how well do her peers know her? And what are some things you might not know about Liz outside the competition ring? Liz who? Halliday Sharp. Oh. Uh, she drove race cars. I believe it was racing cars. I'm not sure what type, but I think it was racing cars. Uh, race cars, uh, sprint racing maybe? No, something, some kind of race cars. <laughs> vroom vroom. Race car driver she drove in Lamaze. I think that's pretty awesome. Race car driving. She drove F1, right? Car racing. <laughs> Legally or illegally? <laughs> how, I don't know how fast, are you allowed 70? I don't know. Is it 70? Yeah. I can't believe, I'm sure she goes faster, but I'm sure you can't say too much more. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely not getting in her way. 13.3 miles an hour. Probably 55. 95. At least 100. 110? 130. Uh, I've been with her on the freeway. She doesn't drive that fast. I mean, she, you know, sits on around 80, 85. So. She drove me back one time in my Porsche from the convention, and I was like, it's a real race car driver. <laughs> Do I say, say the truth? Around 90. And yes, I've been pulled over twice in the last two weeks. So I'm slowing down. Her dog. It's not her dog. I was just at her farm last week. Was it a cat? Is it a pig? A goat. For some reason, I want to say goat. A hamster. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, boa constrictor? A duck. A little bit. Might be a dog. A mini. I think it's a pig. The pig, I did actually know that. A pig? Oh, well, I met a pig, so I don't know if it's the pig. <laughs> Little black and white pig. <laughs> She's a mini pig. I think they have to, like, capture her and take her somewhere to a faraway island in order for her to have a day off. Um, and so that would be, like, on the beach at a resort somewhere, like, far away. I feel like she's a real adrenaline junkie, so something else that doesn't involve, I mean, horses and motorsport is both horsepower, so I don't know, maybe she just goes for a walk or something, I don't know. No idea. Pet the goat. Or the pig, sorry. <laughs> um, she doesn't take days off. She probably analyzes herself riding. Probably raced a car. Uh, watch horse videos. Needlepoint. Sleep in. Uh, I have not had a day off in three months. So, um, sleep, but I'm not very good at sleeping in. So that never lasts very long. Um, I really like to have a, a nice lunch out, maybe with a cheeky glass of wine. That sort of means it's a day off. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I'm a professional athlete. <laughs>